Welcome to MarcusG.TV. I'm Chef Marcus Giuliano. I'm a chef on a mission. Today's mission is 50 mistakes that restaurant owners make or 50 mistakes that really any business owner makes. Um, my restaurant site, 50mistakes.com, or my cyber consulting site, my uh, site with a bunch of free business tips, encompasses much more than restaurants. It was primarily designed for restaurants because I'm a restaurant tour. However, any business can go to 50mistakes.com and get tons of uh, free tips. So head on over there and tell me what you think. Leave a comment here, leave a comment there. Uh, today's uh, video is gonna be on how to get from good to great. A lot of us have good businesses, right? We got a good business, we got a good product, um, we got a good location, uh, our sales are good, our profits are good, but how do we get from good to the next level of great? And I just read a book called Good to Great. And the author, he was on, he was on, on point. I, I really enjoyed reading this book. And it talked, he analyzed all these companies and uh, companies that were good. And there was a whole criteria list. So he just didn't take a new company. He just didn't take a company that maybe, you know, uh, like in the 90s, where, late 90s where dot coms were exploding. He took companies that had many years of history, um, that had a good product, right? And what they did to take that up to the next level comparatively speaking against in their industry and compared to the competitors. And I gotta tell you, every single case he listed, it was all about the people. The people who you employ will elevate your company from good to great. You know, of course, all the ideas that are sparked and all these initiatives and all these cool things basically come from people. So they come from people that, that you've empowered, you've entrusted, and that you've hired. And there was a really great key point. I've, I've always followed this, this one of these points, this, this exact point is, and if you find somebody who's qualified, you get them on your bus, you get them on your team, you get them in your operation, figure out later where you're gonna put them. But if you don't let qualified people fall through your fingertips, it's extremely hard to find the right people, the people with, with the vision, uh, the people with the work ethic, the people that aren't afraid to work, the people that are going to actually improve your business. I mean, it's hard enough to get staff to begin with, and a lot of you can get a body and get people that are going to do a good job, but you want to go in and get people that are going to do a great job in your business. You want visionaries, you want leaders, you want people that are going to that are going to get on the, on the front of the bus and work their way to the front of the bus and actually sit in the driver's seat of the bus and drive the bus and pull the whole staff with them. And you know, when you find somebody like that. If you don't have a job for them, you think of what you can do to keep them around, to get them into your organization and, uh, and keep them. But now besides having being hiring great people, you know, I've had many situations in my restaurant where maybe hired somebody that, you know, after a month, two, three months, they weren't quite working out to what I thought they'd want, what I thought they should be or what I was actually looking for. And my wife go back and forth, it's like, well, it might be time to get rid of that person, right? And I got to tell you, the more effort you put into people, the more effort they're gonna give you back. I have rock stars in my operation that if I didn't do constant training and constant monitoring and doing my constant staff reviews and helping them every step of the way, I would have gotten rid of them. I would have fired them a month in, two months in, three months in, they would have been gone out of my organization. I look at these people now, I'm like, man, it's a good thing I'm smart enough to do constant, constant, constant training because that's what it's about. Constant role playing, constant uh, training, workshops, seminars, off property educational things. Um, even if it's just going to a winery, going to hear a speech. I've taken my staff to see Zig Ziglar. I've taken my staff to on all kinds. In fact, when the first two years were open, um, my staff went to Harv Ecker. Uh, my wife took our, some of our staff to Harv Ecker's Millionaire Mind. And then one year, uh, we took some of our staff, some of our key staff, uh, wait staff. Uh, we took like three of them, four of them to uh, Tony Robbins, Unleash the Power Within. We took him to a, the weekend long seminar in New Jersey. And you know, and these, even a lot of these staff, the staff doesn't work for us anymore, they still come back and they still remember those experiences. And they, and they I, we have parents that come into my restaurant and say, man, what you did for my daughter eight years ago was so inspirational. She just loved working at your place and she got so much out of it and shaped her. And we hear this from several parents on an ongoing basis and it's just a wonderful, feeling to know that we took somebody's um, young um, experience, somebody who's just out of high school or in college or out of college and be able to mold them um, and be able to show them and give them the tools to really exceed. And then when the parents are like, man, you did a great job with our kids, man, that feels so awesome. But 
you can't just hire people and just put them out there and let them go and have maybe rely on one more other staff person. Well, let me show you what to do. This is part of your job. No, it's constant, 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 constant. You're taking them from good to great. You're taking your business from good to great. You're, you're improving customer satisfaction. You're improving your, your product. You're improving your, your everything in your business. You're improving. And who's going to get you there to improve it? Your staff. They're going to take you from good to great. Whether it's teaching them to show, showing them to pick up garbage out in the front of your building, not to walk by it, uh, how to answer the phone quickly and properly, how to take a proper message, how to handle themselves here, or there, how to, how to, you know, it's just so important. Good to great. It's all in your staff. Get in your staff's face and give them the tools to succeed and make your business better. So I'm Chef Marcus Giuliano. If you like this video, please hit like, subscribe to my channel, and definitely check out 50mistakes.com, 50mistakes.com, or 50, F-I-F-T-Y, mistakes.com for a bunch of uh, video tips like this on that, on that website. And uh, thank you for watching.